brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to install some upgraded tow mirrors on this Chevy Silverado. This one's a 2015 LT. We show you on the driver's side, but the passenger side is the same procedure. And this video is universal for several types of tow mirrors. You'll need a set of tow mirrors from 1AAuto.com, a small screwdriver or pick, 7 and 10 millimeter sockets with a ratchet and extension, drill and drill bits, You'll need a set of pliers or a star bit, and we'll show you how to use those. And it may help to have a trim tool and a magnet. Open up the door. Remove the trim panel behind your door handle. Right in the corner is a little indent, small screwdriver, bolt there. And then there's a seven millimeter bolt there down inside your door pull, another panel, small screwdriver or pick, and expose two more seven millimeters. And then you'll wanna grab this panel firmly or you could use a trim tool and pull out. And down. Down in here, there's a screw to remove, a seven millimeter, way back in there. And then there's two down below, here and here. We'll remove those six seven millimeter bolts. I'll start with this one. You need a longer extension with the seven millimeter socket to be able to get in there. Many times it's a good idea to have a magnet around. And now I'm going to pull out around the side, starting at the bottom first. Just pull firmly. And then make sure you pull out these upper pins and pull gently from the front so that this will clear. And at the back, same thing. Pull this clear. And then you kind of pull up. Slide the weather strip back some and off. Then in behind, you've got your door latch cable. You press down on this tab and pull it back, then around and up and out. And then this harness here, pull down on this clip, push the black in here, and release, pull that gray tab down and the harness out. Remove this panel, pull out. There's a little plug down here. You can usually kind of start it by pulling on it and work a set of pliers underneath carefully. Pull it out. And pull firmly. Pull this panel down. You can take the whole thing off. Your mirror connector is here. There should be a little clip that you push down and disconnect. And ours has actually been broken, but if you had to remove it from this clip, you would actually reach in behind and push a little tab and then slide your connector up and off that tab. And then there are three wire harness clips that you want to pull out and four 10 millimeter bolts or nuts to remove. Remove this 
nut here. Now this vehicle has already been upgraded to a set of tow mirrors. So they drilled here and it's just a little tight, but we're gonna push that through. And rotate the mirror off. If your truck came with small mirrors, you'll wanna drill a hole. And as we said before, this already had some aftermarket mirrors installed. They're actually nice one a auto mirrors and the owner drilled a hole. Um, these holes are almost half an inch. We're gonna make this 3 eighths of an inch just so you have a little bit more room to play with. This is double thick steel here and you have a nice washer that goes around. So if we make this, a little, this hole a little larger, it'll be okay. Install the fourth stud into the mirror and you can use pliers to tighten it up or a correct star bit. Just make sure that you don't pinch the gasket in there. Put your harnesses through. to kind of look back in, line up the holes. This has little deflectors. Everything lined up to go on and start your nuts on. Reconnect your mirror and then you'll want to slide it back onto this tab. Put the clips back in for the harness, secure it to the door. All right, so there's a lip on your door trim that goes around the metal on the door. So I'm gonna feed the front in first, push it in, make sure that's caught in behind and then I'm setting this front clip here and then just do the same thing right around. Make sure the trim feeds in. This corner you kind of hold out. And then we can set this pin. And set this front pin. And then you just kind of want to look at your weather strip. You can see it's just caught in behind there a little bit. Just flip it out. Pull on it a little bit. And it just kind of comes right out from behind. To remove this weather strip, you just pull either the front or the back. Get each clip off, just push down on the tab that's here and rotate the clip down and then work underneath from the side and pry the clip out. Again down and then from the side and off. And then reset your clips onto the door. Put your weather strip back in. There's an angled end that goes in the front. Push the front down on. And then you can slide it forward into the channel and then just push it down on the rest of the way. Reconnect your harness connection. button down, make sure it's secure, and flip that safety up. Then reconnect your door handle. 
rod or cable, pull it around and push it in. Make sure that lock rod is in place correctly. Well, I think it just snaps back in once you put the panel on. So put your lock rod in. And then there's a couple of guide pins that are larger here. And one on the front side. This we should be able to line it up. Make sure the guide pins are in place. lock it into place. I'll put my six seven millimeter screws back in place. For this one I'll load it into my socket and extension and then just kind of watch it right in. This panel, this little indent goes at the bottom rear. So just pop that back into place. And on this one, the indent goes towards the front. And just put this panel back in place, the top in first. Lock it in. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.